Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 18. In this XR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll go over how to place text on a curve, and we'll also show you how to place text onto a quick shape as well. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, go ahead and go to your toolbar and select the Shape Editor tool. And we've already covered the Shape Editor tool in the previous tutorial, so if you haven't already, go ahead and back Go ahead and go back and watch that tutorial because it's going to help you in understanding how to create this line that we're going to create with the shape editor tool. Also before you draw your line make sure that you have the curve option selected in your info bar up here and if you do let's go ahead and draw our shape with the shape editor tool. And once you get the line the way that you want it go ahead and hit the escape key to dese dese deselect the, the shape that we created and go to your selection tool and actually let's go to the text tool because we want to create our text next so select the text tool in the toolbar and write any kind of text that you want in this case I'm going to write this is an Xara web designer tutorial for text on a curve then once you're done with that, go ahead and hit your selection key in the toolbar or the selection tool. And then it'll select that text. Once that text is selected, let's go ahead and hold down the shift key and select the, the shape editor line that we created. Or alternatively, you could hit control plus A and it will select both of these objects. And once you get both of those selected, go to the arrange menu and go to the option that says fit text to curve and left click on that and now you'll have text on a curve now if you wanted to make this a little bit bigger just double click on it hit the control plus A key it'll select all the text and again that's control plus A to select all of the text and then go to your, your font menu up here in the info bar and change the size by left clicking on this drop down menu and I'll make it about a 20 to give it a, a nice general size and select your selection tool in the toolbar again and now you'll see that the text is a little bit bigger but let's say you want to move this a little bit forward along this line because it's kind of more towards the back double click on the text and using your left or right arrow keys make sure that you get to the back part of this sentence or statement that we made press your spacebar key a few times to however far you want it to go forward and it'll move the text forward or press the backspace key and it'll move it backwards so you can kind of get your positioning based on the using the space the space bar key and the backspace key okay so that's how you place the text on the curve but let's say that you don't want this funky line that's under it it kind of takes away from the design well all you gotta do is select this object left click it and then in your regular menu bar up here at the top you'll see an option that says set line width and it, you'll, you'll know that by placing your cursor over it it'll say set line width but in, in, in any case it should say many at, when you go up there so look for the option with the drop down menu that says many and we left click on that you'll see a few different pixel sizes and this is gonna either give you a bigger line or you can set it to none if you wanted a bigger line you go to four pixels and it'll give you a bigger line for your text but if you didn't want that line at all just hit the none key and now you don't have a line at all on your curve you just have text that's floating in the air on a curved path so that's a little bit more insight of how to create text on a curve but let's say you make a mis mistake and you accidentally get rid of the line you want to bring it back just go to this option up here again where it says none this time instead of many it'll say none left click on that and click one pixel but you'll see that it also adds a line stroke to your text and you don't probably want that so what you would do to get rid of that is double click within your text hit the control plus a key to select all the text go back up to that option in your menu up here and set it to none and it'll get rid of that line and select your selection tool in your toolbar and now you'll see that the the font doesn't have a a, a line stroke around it but you still have the line that your text is on. So that's a little bit more insight. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to place text onto a quick shape. So let's left click this 
and delete it. And then let's go to our quick shape options in the toolbar and let's go to the circle. And while holding the control key down and your left click mouse button down, go ahead and drag. And that's going to create a perfect circle rather than just a, you know, something like this. If you don't hold the control key while holding down the left click mouse and dragging, you can get kind of an ellipse. But if you hold the control key, it'll const constrain it to a circle. So let's do that. Once you get the shape, let go of those keys. Select the selection tool. Go to your text tool and write the text that you want to write. In this case, I'll write the same thing, sort of. This is a XR tutorial for text on a curve. Go to the selection tool to deselect that. Once you have this selected, the text, go ahead and hold the shift key and select the circle as well. Go back to your range menu. Look for the option that says fit text to curve and left click on that and you'll now see that your text is on the curve of this circle. So and if you wanted to you could maybe you don't want it the text pointing this direction just left click on the circle once you'll get the rotation arrows and just left click and drag until you get it in a more upright position. Now there's some other things that we can do as well. I'll try to demonstrate here really quickly. Uh, go ahead and right click, select, the, select this shape first with the text on it and right click it after you, well let me explain it one more time. Just left click on this once and it'll select both the circle and the text. Then right click on it and choose the options that says reverse text on curve. You'll see that it kind of disappears. You can't see the text anywhere. That's because the text is inside of the circle. And you can't see it because it's black text on top of a black circle. So let's right click, let's left click select it first with your left click mouse button and then right click and choose the reverse text on curve again. And now you'll see it. But this time let's go ahead and double click on the text and let's make it the color white. Let's go to our, our color editor. You can make it whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be white. But I'm going to make mine white and then I'm going to select the selection tool. You can't see it, but the text is there but since it's a white background you won't be able to see the text and I'll show you what I mean if you move it over to a gray space you'll see that the text is actually there but let's move it back into the workspace document and then right click on it and choose reverse text on curve and now you'll see that the text is inside of the circle rather than on the outside and if you wanted to put it back on the outside again well first let's change the color let's make it a uh, mm, let's make it a green I guess green is my new favorite color. I've been using that in a lot of these tutorials now. And then right click on it, first text on curve, and now that green text will be on the outside of the circle again. And you can make you can always change the color that you want it to be at any given time. So that's how you use text on a curve. The same principles would apply if you used it on other quick shapes such as a rectangle or a star, you know, or a picture if you have a picture within your workspace. So that's how you deal with, with text on a curve. If you have any questions, please send us a message on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to this video if you felt that it was helpful. And uh, if you do have any questions, again, send us a message and we'll do our best to help you. And give us a thumbs up if this video was helpful for you. Thanks again for viewing this Xara Web Designer tutorial for lesson number 18 for text on a curve. And look forward to seeing more videos because we'll do our best to try to help you learn how to use Xara Web Designer 7 Premium. Yeah.